all right so sometimes what happens is uh, there are some questions which are lengthy in nature or uh, you know which you do not know the answer to like you know some of the options but you do not know all the options so how do you go about solving those questions so that's what it's uh, all about that's that, that is what makes the difference between cracking csr net and you know uh, just getting ls right so for example if we consider this question i am just showing you by example on how generally i attempt my question papers okay so for example the question is consider the following statements for octahedral complexes and these are the three octahedral complexes given and these are the four uh, four statements given that their dd transitions are this this much this much respectively their spin only magnetic moments is the same two of them have optical isomers and so on and so forth right now it says the correct statements are and these are the four given options now first of all what i do is for example i do not know about a part i do not know about b part i do not know about c part but i know how to calculate how to find out whether a system uh, whether a compound is showing a giant error distortion right now see let's look at the options so it's a b c a c d a b c d and b d so if you look at the options you will find that only the first option is there where d is not a where d is not in the statements right in rest of the options d is stated to be correct so what i do is firstly i just to eliminate and for example i do not know how to calculate a b c or what it stands for i just know okay i have seen the options and that d is not present in option 1 but it's present on 2 3 4 so i'll take my luck i'll take my chance and i'll solve for d now if i solve for d for example for cr f6 3 minus right so if i solve for cr f6 3 minus so chromium f6 3 minus is given okay so what i do is i'll calculate chromium so this it's in plus 3 oxidation state so that means it's in d3 configuration right and since it's a octahedral complex so we have uh, the t2 t2g over here and the eg over here right and if i now accommodate it's in plus 3 oxidation state and d3 configuration so one electron over here one electron over here and one electron over here so what so this is not showing any giant error distortion because like you know i i don't think i need to detail what is giant error distortion right but the d3 configuration does not show any giant error distortion so now if you look at the option so see it says all of them showed giant error distortion right but right now we calculated just from one part itself that crf6 is not showing giant error no, not showing giant error distortion so that means these d options all are incorrect so we can say that the correct answer is a now this question that would take you about minimum of 3 to 3 2 to 3 minutes to solve you can just solve it under 5 seconds now that's the power of solving it with a logical mind right you it may happen that you do not know the all of the answers you do not know all the options but you can still go ahead and answer the question so do not get scared when you see some question which you do not know an answer to just try and attempt it it, it won't take less uh, more than 30 seconds to read and attempt the question okay and uh, if you want the full solution to this question you can just put uh, a comment in the description box and i'll make a video on the full solution but this video was all about a smart the smart work the smart way to do the question